All right, so this beautiful white S2000 came all the way from South Florida. It is eight o'clock right now, which means he's been on the road since probably five to make it here. So we're excited to get started. We're gonna share what we're doing to this car, show you some of the package, show you the power, give you an idea of the sound, and hopefully share a few tips along the way. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit the subscribe, and let's get started. Let's show you how we build a car. are rolling in look at that that is uh less than 10 hours we've got a whole bunch of orders so thank you so much for ordering we're shipping them right now yeah. we are leading the packing and shipping department probably all black shirts we made black shirts you guys wanted them you guys what did they say them. if you make them they will buy them yeah something or like something like that there was a movie about black shirts in the 80s yeah. yeah and it said if you make black shirts people will buy them yeah and it's true so that is so cool i have a nice little handy dandy printer here we are rocking and rolling it over here so the factory exhaust has the black powder coated tips, which we kind of talked about this and we both agreed that the black tips need to stay. I uh, kind of like the way the oval one looks. It's a little chewed up around here, but uh, up top, you're not gonna really see it, but just the oval looks nice on the AP2s. So this is stock, we're gonna change it to, the exhaust we talked about before, the budget Q LHT 300, I guess we'll call it. There we go. We're gonna change a few things. We're gonna weld up the y section here remove the huge tap and of course the biggest thing is these tips right here these five inch tips that are sheet metal they just don't look good and of course these never really fit that well we do a little bit of tweak into the hangers we don't use the clamps you saw our last video i'm not going to go dwell on it too much and of course this area here where we've noticed the cracking so we're going to clean all that up and add an extra weld here so we don't need to crack we see almost every single one of them comes in cracked here. So I'm going to address that. It's short when you're driving, but it's long when you're walking, carrying parts. So he has something for us. Let's go take a look at it. And you guys tell me what you think. Howdy. This is it. This is it. Forget the powder coat and grilling. It's uh, Smoke Show Fridays. Wow, it smells great too. Because we don't really trust this gauge too much. It, yeah, you it's never It's usually know. about a 15 degree split. So like this is like 320 really, or 315, 320. Um, so you never know. So you never know. Yeah, so I, the last like three minutes of smoking, I bring this, because it's a pellet grill, I bring it all the way up. Yeah. It gets the skin a little crispy. Is this for me right here? That's for you and George. Oh, great. <laughs> we saved exactly two. You went, that's it? Uh, that's you... it, I was like. If I these... waited too much longer, you'd probably eat those. We tried something new on these and they're phenomenal. That stuff that you made last time, the meatloaf. The meatloaf. Was unbelievable. The bacon wrap meatloaf, yeah, yeah. And then you guys missed the wings. So that's why I was like, I gotta make sure I get some meatloaf. <laughs> I'm telling you, if you did a thing on a Friday like we talked about, I yeah. think you would clean up. Honestly, I'm it's... thinking about it. I talked to my woman last night about it and she is stoked. She wants a part of it because she's culinary. Yeah. Herself, you guys so. would have a you'd have a lot of I mean you'd get to learn different things too but mm -hmm. this whole area would be over here. Yeah, and then they go, "Oh, you guys do powder coat?" I'm mean, like, "Yup." Oh, these guys right here. These little two hickeys. Awesome. All right, oh, this looks great. Black. I love flat black colors. 
George is gonna see this and he's gonna wanna do it. Last time we were doing it, we didn't have the time because it was like, I know. This is your time to put the car together, but. He didn't, I didn't realize that he was like. Yeah, he needed it like the next day, and I know you guys was backed up, so. He never told me. Well, son of a gun, but well right. sometimes they don't tell you. Yeah, we'll, we'll do a, I'm sure they'll yeah. come off soon. We'll, 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 next time we mess with this car, we'll pull it off and do it because I know he's gonna see this and go, that's it. Yep. I wanna do it. What? Look at that. Two. 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 It was gonna be one for me and one for George, but I told him that George don't like him. Oh, so. Well, George, looking at it now, might like it. Do I want or no? Doesn't matter. I think you should do it. I'll, you guys have shirts. If you don't, Esther will have I don't have an LH t-shirt on, and I want to see you guys eat the wings here. All right, definitely eat it. Just go on over there. You just George, go on, go on over there, George. Get in there. Oh yeah, these are good. Yeah? They look yeah. good. They're very meaty too, so you're not gonna deal with a bone too much. Well, it's a drumstick, so that's the best one. Yeah, it's got a ton of meat on it. Yeah. Really good. Wow, these are great. See? Cook more. On Fridays. That's why he's like, Yeah. Come on, he called me and he was eating crap while he was telling me my stuff already. Kind of like I am right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so part of doing the Honda K Pro mod, if you go on Honda's website, it kind of tells you what to do. There is some parts that you got to change. Uh, the cam wheel on the end of the cam, as well as the sensor and the wheel and sensor on the back of the time and chain cover. So it's quite a bit of work to get in there, but the K-Pro, I've mentioned this before, if I was to rate the tuning systems, in my opinion, Honda, 10 out of 10. AEM, eight and a half out of 10. Still very good, just doesn't have that 100% perfect Honda OEM feel like the K-Pro does, because the K-Pro is essentially a Honda ECU. So I've been trying not to mention this, even though it's kind of bugging me, this is obviously a rip-off of our masses on the brace, and it's the steel one. And like we talked about before, they don't fit very well. You see how it's kind of bending up here, and they're steel, so they have a lot of flex. So it was kind of bugging me, and I asked him nicely, hey, I don't mean to sound like that guy, but can we take this off and put the original LHT one on the billet? One that's made in the USA that actually works. So he said, absolutely, it came on the car, so we're taking that off. So part of doing the Honda, we of course have to change the valve cover to the AP2 06 and up. This has a different sensor here that has to be put back in. And on the 2000 to 2005, it has a sensor on this side too. So this valve cover is changed. They wanted to stay red. So it was important to make sure we have a really, really nice red valve cover back on there. The spark plug cover wasn't in bad shape. We'll just have it over here. But like we've said in the past, we like to refinish these and give them a really nice, crisp look. Whatever this build costs. There's nothing. We just do it as part of doing the deal. Uh, the deal. So, of course, we're going to put the stainless Allen bolts in there, too. Look how nice that looks.
So we always flow test our injectors before using them. This goes for all brands and if we have multiple sets in stock, I always like to balance them and make sure they're a matched set so they're all exactly the same. So downpipe is on, it's hooked to his cat that he supplied, it actually came on the car. And the exhaust, this is part of the way we set the exhaust up to make sure it's absolutely centered. These exhausts are known to be off a little bit and it's part of what we do to make sure they're uh, perfectly lined up. Now the airbox came back from powder coat. You see how much better that looks. And it looks pretty, but it is functional. So AN lines, we're gonna build those for our breather can. These are dash 10 and again, black. It just looks nice. And it kind of goes with the look. It fits nice, it's functional if you need to take it off. Our bracket goes right onto our catch can, onto the radiator. So you can see how much better that looks. And it's got the wrinkled black pipe in, which is what he wanted. And it goes with the whole theme of the car. So exhaust, we did decide to go with the OEM tip seed, had them blacked already. It does match the AP2 bumper. It is a look I like for the AP2. So this is an option if it's something you would like to do. You know when you're in the Hot Wheels section at Walmart, you're always looking for the best car in the stack, you can never find it? That's where it is. Even at Walmart, that's where it is. Alright, so looking over everything, we'll double check the fluids, check the oil. We are good to go, we just got to load in a program and we'll crank it and build some oil pressure. So go ahead and key on, I don't know, lock the ECU. I've already got a program that I know is good. It should be fairly close. Let's see. We will go over to online. Update that. Upload. Okay, just make sure the data logger is agreeing with everything. It's IAT. 79 degrees uh, 76 water. All right, we should be good, George. Ready? You gonna crank it? Yep. See what happens. Wow, look at that. That was no messing right there. I shouldn't act like I'm surprised, should I? So just finishing the bleeding from the radiator is so efficient. Today it's kind of cool. It's about 78 degrees today, so it's taking a while to warm up. But once the fans have cycled a couple of times to verify water has circulated everywhere then we put the cap on run it and then check it again so it's got plenty in here it's mixing is the wheels. It's just kind of nice to run it through and make sure it's happy. Is the adjustment still good? You can use a little bit more.
so 404 323 is actually making quite a bit of torque I was actually pulling power out to get the torque so it wouldn't peak too hard but he's got a really good looking graph tons and tons of mid-range power and again 300 foot-pounds of torque right at the bat the 4500 line now the beauty of the K-Pro, one of the reasons we like it so much, is it's got that super OEM feel. The startup, everything feels normal. We've got the heat on, so it's kind of cold in here. But just one quick hit. It starts up like a factory car, just runs it's so nice. Nice throttle response. Nice sound. You hear that? That's perfect. We'll get a little bit of drivability sound. We'll go for a ride. I get George to run it up and down the street, get some sound clips so you get an idea where we're at. But so far, this is fantastic. I'm loving this car. What's going on over here? We're doing a little bit of fine tuning. The dyno is done, but we're going to go ahead and drive it a little bit, keep an eye on the trims, make sure everything's happy. Like we've said in the past, if it does something funny, if it's got an annoying part or if it idles funky, we wanted to do it here. Just just a couple of types on the keyboard, we fix it, and it verifies everything's good before it drives home. Plus, we get to videotape it and get some cool sounds. I'm rev it real quick. But it's got a real nice sound. You hear that? Yeah, it does. Super mellow. This is what we wanted. We wanted power. We wanted everything to be. We wanted it to be perfect. Like we talked about. We don't want any side effects or drawbacks. Yeah. Or what did I say? No compromise? No compromise. Every time you do something power-wise, you end up with a negative to it. Something's annoying about it. And this is 25 years doing this, and I'm getting more and more picky. Mm -hmm. So You are too, right? A little bit. There's certain I've, things... I've got that, a couple less years. Huh? There's, cer there's certain things that George was okay with now. He's been doing it for a while certain things annoy him too so we're always trying to eliminate the negatives all well, the compromises yeah. so we want it to be I mean listen to this car it's like a factory S2000 yeah. well, the top's down so there's more noise from the wind than there is now the red car the LHC S2000 this is almost the same package we're gonna do because I like it so much it's gonna have a titanium exhaust but it should have a similar sound it's just lighter we're trying to make the car as uh, as close to factory weight as we can so the additional weight of the turbo taking the weight off of the exhaust is somewhat of a balance yeah that's just fantastic see how early we're shifting we're not having to rev it all the way out rev it Rev it up! Get it! Oh yeah, hit a race this evening. Making me feel better about doing what we're doing to the red car to show the world how good this package is. Yeah. Again, if you're on the fence of getting an S2000 with this package, what an amazing machine, really. That's awesome. It just goes and there's no tire spin at all. That's amazing. All right, let's get a sound clip, give you an idea of what we're working with right here. We really need to find a quiet road to do this. We just try not to drive the car any more than we need to. It's a little quieter right now. I'm gonna be doing the same package to our red car, like I told you. That's how confident I am and that's how much I like this.
Doesn't that sound good? Again, that's early shifting. It just goes. It's just got power instantly. And there's no noise. Not that I'm taking it away from the superchargers, but the negative to the supercharger is the noise. And I'm picky. I told you how picky I'm getting. The supercharger noise is just one of those things that's just the last thing to annoy you. I mean, the turbo makes no noise. I mean, if I was to be more picky, I'd say now the bluff valve is kind of noisy. That sounds amazing. Yeah, that's All right, we're gonna put the top on, look it over, give it a wipe over, make sure there's no fingerprints on it or no dust, and they can go back to the customer.